Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Kajal Jindal from University of Delhi. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Bessel Differential Equation from paper Mathematical Tools for Materials. So students, let us see what we are going to learn in this module. First, importance of Bessel Differential Equation is stressed and its derivation from Laplace Equation is sketched. Secondly, Bessel functions are introduced as solutions of Bessel Equation. Recurrence relations for the Bessel functions are obtained. Discussion is specialized to Bessel functions of integer order. Integral representation is obtained and the generating function is derived. Bessel function of the second kind are introduced and discussed in detail. The related Hankel functions are defined. Idea of orthogonality of Bessel functions is introduced and expansion of a function in terms of Bessel functions is obtained. The asymptotic behavior of Bessel functions is briefly discussed. Now, we begin with an introduction to Bessel's differential equation. Bessel's differential equations are another extremely important equations in physics. They appear in problems involving circular symmetry such as circular membranes, discs, etc. They arise as a result of solving Laplace equation which is written in cylindrical coordinates. The equation is given as 1 by rho into del by del rho of within the brackets rho into del v by del rho bracket close plus 1 by rho square into del 2 v by del phi square plus del 2 v by del z square is equal to 0. A solution in the form v is equal to e raised to power k into z into e raised to power i into nu into phi into w of rho leads to z equals k rho. A solution in the form v is equal to e raised to power kz into e raised to power iota nu phi into w of rho leads to d2w by dz square plus 1 by z dw by dz plus w into within the brackets 1 minus nu square by z square bracket close is equal to 0. The equation may be simplified to give z square into d2w by dz square plus z into dw by dz plus w into within the brackets z square minus nu square equals 0. Please note that small z equals k into rho is not to be confused with capital Z. This is the Bessel differential equation. The equation is defined for all complex values of the parameter nu. Most important cases are for nu equal to an integer or half integer. Let us now begin with Bessel functions. Bessel's differential equation has an irregular singular point at infinity and a regular singular point at the origin with exponents plus nu and minus nu. If nu is an integer or half odd integer, the exponent difference is also an integer. In this case, the complete solution cannot be expressed in powers of rho or z. Some formula will hold for all nu while others for integer nu only. Integer values of nu will be denoted by Roman letters m, n, etc. Let us make a change of variable and we assume z square 
is equal to 4 times y and let capital D is equal to the product of y into d by dy. Then the Bessel's equation becomes w multiplied by within the bracket capital D square minus 1 by 4 nu square brackets close plus y into w is equal to 0. We attempt a series solution of the form w is equal to y raised to power alpha summation over i going from 0 to infinity ai y raised to power i. Thus we have d into w is equal to summation over i going from 0 to infinity alpha plus i into ai into y raised to power alpha plus i and d square w is equal to summation over i going from 0 to infinity alpha plus i whole square into ai into y raised to power alpha plus i. Thus, we obtain the equation as summation over i going from 0 to infinity ai into y raised to power alpha plus i into within the brackets alpha plus i whole square minus 1 by 4 new square bracket close plus summation over i going from 0 to infinity ai y into y raised to power alpha plus i plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, substituting these values in Bessel's equation expressed in form of capital D and comparing the coefficients of various parts of y, we get alpha square minus 1 by 4 nu square is equal to 0. This implies alpha is equal to plus minus half of nu. These are the roots of the initial equation. In general, on comparing the coefficients of y raised to power alpha plus i term, we obtain the recurrence relation as ai multiplied by within the brackets alpha plus i whole square minus 1 by 4 nu square bracket close plus ai minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies ai is equal to ai minus 1 divided by alpha plus i whole square minus 1 by 4 nu square where i takes up the values 1, 2, 3 and so on. For alpha is equal to half of nu, the recurrence relation becomes ai is equal to minus 1 by i into i plus nu multiplied by ai minus 1 where i takes the values 1, 2, 3 and so on. On applying the recurrence relation repeatedly, we obtain ai is equal to capital C times minus 1 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 where i takes up the values 1, 2, 3 and so on. Please note here capital C is some arbitrary constant independent of i. On substituting for alpha and ai from above relations, we have w is equal to c times y raised to power nu by 2 into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to power i into y raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 where z square is equal to 4 times y. This is the series solution of Bessel's differential equation. From theory of infinite series, we know that this series converges uniformly and absolutely in every circle defined by mod y less than capital R. Similarly, we can work out the case of alpha is equal to minus half of nu. 
the result for this case is obtained by simply replacing nu by minus nu. We thus obtain two series solution of the Bessel equation given by W is equal to capital D into Y raised to power minus nu by 2 into summation over I going from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to power I into Y raised to power I divided by I factorial into gamma of I minus nu plus 1 where z square is equal to 4y. These two solutions may or may not be linearly independent. We now define the Bessel function of the first kind of order nu to be the function defined by the series j nu of z is equal to z by 2 raised to power nu into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1. Since j nu z also represents solutions of Bessel equation, so does w is equal to c j nu z plus g j minus nu of c. This is a solution with two independent constants. However, it will represent the complete solution if the two solutions are linearly independent. For nu is equal to 0, the two solutions are identical. The same is true if nu is an integer. For if nu is equal to n, an integer, we have j minus n of z is equal to z by 2 raised to power minus n into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i minus n plus 1. The gamma function gamma of z is infinite when its argument is 0 or a negative integer. Hence, the contribution of the terms with i is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on till n minus 1 vanishes and we have j minus n of z is equal to z by 2 raised to power minus n into summation over i going from n to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i minus n plus 1. This is equal to z by 2 raised to power minus n into summation over j going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power j plus n divided by j plus n factorial into gamma of j plus 1. This gives j minus n z, z to be equal to minus 1 raised to power n into z by 2 raised to power n into summation over j going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power j divided by j factorial into gamma of j plus n plus 1. This gives minus 1 raised to power n by j n of z. Hence, in this case also, the two solutions are not linearly independent. When nu is not an integer, all terms in the two series are finite and non-zero. Further, one series is multiplied by the factor z by 2 raised to power nu and the other with the factor z by 2 raised to power minus nu. Hence, the two solutions are linearly independent. We now study the recurrence relations for the Bessel function. Let us evaluate the expression j nu minus 1 plus j nu plus 1. Now, j nu minus 1 plus j nu plus 1 is equal to z by 2 raised to power nu minus 1 
into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus half of z raised to power nu plus 1 into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 2. If we take z by 2 raised to power nu minus 1 as common, we get z by 2 raised to power nu minus 1 into within the brackets summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus half of z the entire term is squared into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 2 brackets close. Thus, we get j nu minus 1 plus j nu plus 1 is equal to z by 2 raised to power nu minus 1 into within the brackets summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu minus summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i plus 1 divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 2 brackets close. In the first sum, write the i is equal to 0 term separately and in the second sum, replace i by i minus 1. So, we get j nu minus 1 plus j nu plus 1 is equal to z by 2 raised to power nu minus 1 into within the brackets 1 by gamma of nu plus summation over i going from 1 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i into within the brackets 1 by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu minus 1 by i minus 1 factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 brackets close. Now use the properties of the gamma function to obtain 1 by gamma of nu plus summation over i going from 1 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i into within the brackets 1 by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu minus 1 by i minus 1 factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 bracket close is equal to nu by gamma of nu plus 1 plus summation over i going from 1 to infinity minus c square by 4 raised to power i into nu by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1. This is simplified to obtain nu into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i into nu divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1. This results in 2 nu by z j nu of z. We thus have the first recurrence relation as j nu minus 1 of z plus j nu plus 1 of z is equal to 2 nu by z into j nu of z. Exactly in a similar fashion, we have the second recurrence relation as j nu minus 1 of z minus j nu plus 1 of z is equal to 2 times j nu prime of z. We next move to study the Bessel functions of integer order. Many of the formula 
take a simpler form for Bessel's functions of integer order. There are also some relations which are specific to Bessel functions of integer order only. Like the case of Legendre polynomials, there is the Schlafly contour integral for the Bessel's function which states that Jn of z is equal to z by 2 raised to power n divided by 2 pi i into the integral over t going from minus infinity to 0 plus of exponent t minus z square by 4t into t raised to power minus n minus 1. The integrand is an analytic function of the variable t whose only singularity in the finite domain is an essential singularity at the origin. Hence, we can deform the path of integration without changing the value of the integral as long as the point t is equal to 0 is included. In particular, the path can be deformed to the circle represented by modulus of t is equal to half of modulus of z into capital R, where z is not equal to 0. If we now make the change of variable from t to u, where u is equal to 2t by z, the path of integration is the circle defined by modulus of u is equal to capital R and the above integral becomes Jn of z is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral over c exponent of within the brackets 1 by 2 into z into u minus 1 by u bracket close multiplied by u raised to power minus n minus 1 du. In particular, if capital R is equal to 1, then on the circle C, u is equal to e raised to power i theta, where theta is less than or equal to minus pi to pi. Hence, jn of z is equal to 1 by 2 pi minus integral over theta running over the definite limits minus pi to pi e raised to pi minus i n theta plus i z sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral over theta running over the definite limits 0 to pi of the terms e raised to pi minus i n theta plus i z sin theta plus e raised to pi i n theta minus i z sin theta. Here i is the iota and is equal to square root of minus 1. Hence, we have the Bessel integral for j n of z. j n of z is equal to 1 by pi the integral over theta going over the definite limit 0 to pi cos of within the brackets n theta minus z sin theta brackets close. We next find out the generating function for the Bessel's equations. Let us make the series expansion of the function e raised to power z by 2 into t minus 1 by t. This is equal to e raised to power z into t by 2 multiplied by e raised to power minus z by 2t. So, e raised to power zt by 2 into e raised to power minus z by 2t is equal to summation over i going from 0 to infinity z by 2 raised to power i divided by i factorial into t raised to power i into summation over j going from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to power j into z by 2 raised to power j into t raised to power minus j by j factorial is equal to summation over i going from 0 to infinity, summation over j going from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to power j into z by 2 raised to power i plus j into t raised to power i minus j divided by 
I factorial into J factorial. Let us put I minus J is equal to N as I and J vary independently from 0 to pi and n varies from minus infinity to infinity. Hence, we can write the above double series as e raised to power z t by 2 into e raised to power minus c by 2 t is equal to summation over n going from minus infinity to infinity. With, uh, within that, the summation over i where j is greater than or equal to 0 and goes till infinity the condition is i minus j is equal to k. The terms includes minus 1 raised to power j into z by 2 raised to power i plus j into t raised to power k divided by i factorial into j factorial. This is equal to summation over n going from minus infinity to infinity for the term z by 2 raised to power n into summation over j going from 0 to infinity for the term minus 1 raised to power j into z by 2 raised to power 2j into t raised to power n divided by j plus n factorial into j factorial. But z by 2 raised to power n into summation j is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to power j by z by 2 raised to power 2j divided by j plus n factorial into j factorial is equal to j n of z so that e to the power z by 2 into t minus 1 by t is equal to summation over n going from minus infinity to infinity j n of z into t raised to power n. Now we discuss Bessel functions of the second kind. Take e raised to power z by 2 into within the brackets t minus 1 by t bracket close. This is the generating function for the Bessel functions for integer n. These appear as coefficients of various powers of t in the expansion of this function. They may be regarded as the definition of Bessel's function for integer order. Also, many important properties can be proved from this. J nu of z and j minus nu of z are linearly dependent, where nu is an integer. Hence, they do not provide the complete solution. There are many ways of defining the second solution to the equation in the literature. One has to be careful when going through the literature. Bessel functions of second kind of order nu is defined as y nu of z is equal to cos, nu, cos of nu pi into j nu of z minus j minus nu of z divided by sine of nu pi. It is sometimes called the Weber function or the Newman function and denoted by capital N nu of z. When nu is an integer, this takes the indeterminate form 0 by 0. For integer n, we now define Bessel function of the second kind of order n by the limiting process y n of z is equal to limit where nu tends to n cos of nu pi into j, j nu of z minus j minus nu of z divided by sine of nu pi. On applying the L hospitals rule for finding the limit, we have y nu of z is equal to limit nu tending to n for cos nu pi into del by del nu j nu of z minus pi into sin nu pi into j nu of z minus del by del nu of j minus nu of z divided by pi cos of nu pi. 
This gives y nu z is equal to 1 by pi limit nu tendings to n within the brackets del by del nu j nu of z minus minus 1 raised to pi n del by del nu j minus nu of z bracket close. To find the series expansion for this function, substitute the series for the Bessel function into the above equation. So we get y nu of z is equal to cot nu pi into z by 2 raised to pi nu summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 minus cosecant of nu pi into z by 2 raised to power minus nu into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i minus nu plus 1. Thus, limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of j nu z is equal to limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of within the brackets z by 2 raised to power n summation into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 brackets close. This is simplified to give limit nu tendings to n z by 2 raised to power nu into summation i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 into within the brackets natural log of z by 2 minus psi of i plus nu plus 1 where psi of z is the derivative of logarithm of gamma of z and is given as psi of z is equal to d by dz of ln natural log of gamma of z. This is equal to d gamma z by dz divided by gamma of z. Thus, limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of j nu of z simplifies to give z by 2 raised to power n summation i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into i plus n factorial multiplied by within the brackets natural log of z by 2 minus psi of i plus n plus 1 brackets close. The first n terms of the series for del by del nu j minus nu of z have to be considered separately since gamma of i plus nu plus 1 and psi of i plus nu plus 1 have poles at nu equals to n when i is equal to 0, 1, 2 uh, and so on till n minus 1. Stop. On using the identity gamma of z into gamma of 1 minus z is equal to pi divided by sine of pi z for i going from 0, 1, 2 till n minus 1, we obtain limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of within the brackets minus 1 raised to power i into z by 2 raised to power 2i minus nu into 1 by i factorial into gamma of i plus nu plus 1 bracket close is equal to limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of within the brackets z by 2 raised to power 2i minus nu into sine of nu pi into gamma of nu minus i divided by pi i factorial bracket close. This simplifies to give limit 
nu tending to n z by 2 raised to power 2i minus nu into gamma of nu minus i divided by pi i factorial into within the brackets minus sine nu pi into natural log of z by 2 plus pi cos nu pi plus sine nu pi into psi of v minus i brackets close. This is equal to minus 1 raised to power n into z by 2 raised to power 2i minus nu into n minus i minus 1 factorial divided by i factorial. The other terms of the sum can be treated in a straightforward manner. The result is minus 1 raised to power n limit nu tendings to n del by del nu of j minus nu of z is equal to summation over i going from 0 to n minus 1 n minus i minus 1 factorial divided by i factorial into z by 2 raised to power 2i minus n plus summation over j going from 0 to infinity of the terms minus 1 raised to power j into z by 2 raised to power 2j plus n into 1 by j factorial into n plus j factorial multiplied by within the brackets psi of j plus 1 minus natural log of z by 2 brackets close. When all the terms are collected together, we have for positive integer n the series expansion given as yn of z is equal to z by 2 raised to power n divided by pi into summation over i going from 0 to infinity minus z square by 4 raised to power i divided by i factorial into n plus i factorial multiplied by the terms within the brackets 2, nat 2 into natural log of z by 2 minus psi of i plus 1 minus psi of n plus i plus 1 brackets close minus summation over i going from 0 to n minus 1 n minus i minus 1 factorial divided by i factorial into z by 2 raised to power 2i minus n. Thus, as expected, the second solution of Bessel's equation has a logarithmic term and for n is equal to 0, the second term is absent. Next, we proceed towards Hankel functions. From the linear combination of the Bessel functions of the first and second kind, we define another equivalent set of functions called the Bessel functions of the third kind. They are more often called the Hankel functions of order n through h nu, h nu 1 of z is equal to j nu of z plus i y nu of z. Similarly, h nu 2 of z is equal to j nu of z minus i y nu of z. Here i stands for square root of minus 1. Since Bessel's function of first and second kind are linearly independent, so are the Hankel functions. Hence, they provide an alternative pair of solutions to the Bessel equation. The usefulness of the various sets depends on the asymptotic behavior of these functions near the origin and infinity. Now we proceed towards the orthogonality of Bessel functions. Bessel functions provide an orthonormal set in a certain sense which we will now explain. Bessel functions in a way are like sine and cosine functions. They are oscillating functions having infinite number of zeros. But unlike trigonometric functions, they are oscillating with decreasing amplitude. Also, the zeros of Bessel functions are not equally spaced. Bessel functions are orthonormal in the following sense. Let xi i 
and xi j be any two zeros of the equation given by j n of xi a is equal to zero. Then integral of z j into j n of xi i z into j n of xi j z dz over the limits 0 to a is equal to a square by 2 into j n plus 1 square of xi a into delta i j. j n of xi i z and j n of xi j z are solutions of the Bessel equation with argument xi i z and xi j z. z into d by dz of within the brackets z into d by dz of j n of xi i z brackets close plus j n of xi i into z multiplied by xi i square into z square minus n square brackets close is equal to 0. Next, z d by dz within the brackets z into d by dz of j n of xi j into z brackets close plus j n of xi j into z multiplied by xi j square into z square minus n square within brackets is equal to 0. Multiply the first of these equations by 1 by z into j n of z into xi j and the second by 1 by z into j n of xi i into z and subtract to obtain j n of xi j into z into d by dz of within the brackets z into d by dz j n of xi i into z brackets close minus j n of xi i into z multiplied by d by dz of within the brackets z into d by dz j n of xi j into z brackets close plus z into j n of xi i into z multiplied by j n into xi j of into z multiplied by within the brackets xi i square minus xi j square is equal to 0. Thus we get d by dz of j n of xi j into z multiplied by z into d by dz of j n of psi i into z brackets close minus z times d by dz of j n of xi i into z multiplied by d by dz of j n of psi j into z minus d by dz of within the brackets j n of xi i into z into z into d by dz of j n of xi j into z, z brackets close minus z into d by dz into j n of xi j into z into d by dz of j n of xi i into z bracket close plus z into j n of xi i z into j n of xi j z into within the brackets xi i square minus xi j square. This is equal to 0. Or equivalently we may obtain d by dz of within the brackets j n of xi j into z into z into d by dz of j n of xi i into z minus j n of xi i into z multiplied by z into d by dz of j n into xi j into z brackets close plus z into j n of xi i into z into j n of xi j into z 
into within the brackets xi i square minus xi j square will be equal to 0. On integrating over z from 0 to a, we obtain within the brackets jn of xi j into z into z into d by dz of jn of xi i into z minus jn of xi i into z into z into d by dz of jn of xi j into z brackets close with the limit 0 to a plus within the brackets xi i square minus xi j square brackets close multiplied by the definite integral over z going from 0 to a for the terms z into j n of xi i z into j n of xi j z is equal to 0. The first term is 0 both at the upper limit and lower limit. At lower limit because of the factor z and at the upper limit because j n of xi i a is equal to j n of xi j a is equal to 0. If xi i and xi j are distinct, we have the integral over z going from 0 to a of z into j n of xi i into z into j n of xi j into z is equal to 0. Thus, j n of xi z satisfies the Bessel's equation given by z square into j n double prime of xi z plus z into j n prime of xi z plus within the brackets xi square into z square minus n square brackets close multiplied by j n of xi z is equal to 0. Now, we multiply this equation by 2j n prime of xi z and integrate this equation from 0 to a. Then we use the relations j n of xi a is equal to 0 and n times j n of 0 is equal to 0. Thus we get 2 times z square into j n prime of xi z into j n double prime of xi z plus 2z within the brackets j n prime xi z bracket close square plus 2 times within the brackets xi square z square minus n square bracket close into j n xi z into j n prime of xi z is equal to 0. This implies d by dz of within the square brackets z square into j n prime of xi z square minus n square into j n square of xi z plus xi square z square into j n square of xi z square brackets close minus 2 times xi square into z into j n square of xi z is equal to 0. Thus we get within the square brackets z square into j n prime of xi z square minus n square into j n square xi z plus xi square z square into j n prime xi z square square bracket close over the limit 0 to a minus 2 xi square multiplied by the integral over z over the limit 0 to a of, of the terms z into j n square z z z z d z is equal to 0. Thus, a square into j n prime z z square within the brackets for uh, at the point z is equal to a is equal to 2 times z square into the integral over z going from 0 to a z into j n square z z. Next, we use the recurrence relation d by dz j n of z z is equal to 
n by z into j n of xi z minus xi times j n plus 1 of xi z. Hence, we obtain 0 to a z times j n square xi z dz is equal to 1 by 2 psi square within the square brackets a square multiplied by within the curly brackets n by 2 into j n of xi z minus xi into j n plus 1 into xi z curly brackets close square square brackets close at z is equal to a but j n of xi a is equal to 0 so that 0 to a z into j n, j n square of xi z dz is equal to 1 by 2 a square into j n plus 1 square of xi a. On combining the two results, we have the desired result given by 0 to a z into j n of xi i z into j n of xi j z dz is equal to a square by 2 within the brackets j n plus 1 xi a brackets close square into delta i j. Next, we need to understand the expansion of a function in terms of Bessel functions. If a function fx is defined in the region and x will, lies within the limit 0 to a and the integral over x over the definite limit 0 to a of square root of x into fx is finite, then it can be expanded in the form f of x is equal to summation over i going from 1 to infinity a i into j n of xi i x where xi i i goes from 1 to 3 and so on are the roots of the equation j n of xi i a is equal to 0. We assume this result and find the coefficients multiply by x into j n of xi j of x and integrate. We get x into j n of xi j of x into f of x is equal to summation over i going from 1 to infinity a i into x into j n of xi i of xi i x into j n of xi j x. This implies 0 to a x into j n of xi j x into f of x is equal to summation over i going from 1 to infinity a i into integral over x going from 0 to a x into j n of xi i x into j n of xi j x. Now we use the orthonormality relation on the right hand side so that 0 to a x into j n of xi j of xi j x into f of x is equal to summation over i going from 1 to infinity a i into a square by 2 into j n plus 1 square xi i a into delta i j. This is equal to a j into a square by 2 into j n plus 1 square into xi j a. This implies a j is equal to 2 times 0 to a x into f x into j n xi j x into d x divided by a square into j n plus 1 square xi j a which is the required result. Let us now move on to understand the asymptotic behavior of Bessel functions. In view of the importance of the behavior of the Bessel's function for large and small values of the arguments, we quote the results below. For large values of the argument z, where z tends to infinity, we have j nu of z is approximately equal to 2 by pi z raised to power 1 by 2 into cos of within the brackets z minus 
nu plus half into pi by 2 brackets close y nu of z is approximately equal to 2 by pi z raised to power 1 by 2 into sine of within the brackets z minus nu plus half into pi by 2 brackets close h nu 1 of z is approximately equal to 2 by pi z raised to power 1 by 2 into e raised to power i within the brackets z minus nu plus half into pi by 2. h nu 2z is approximately equal to 2 by pi z raised to power 1 by 2 into e raised to power minus i multiplied by within the brackets z minus nu plus half into pi by 2. Brackets close. For z tending to 0, the behavior of the Bessel functions can be read from the power series expansion. We have j nu of z is approximately equal to z by 2 raised to power nu divided by gamma of nu plus 1. y naught of z is approximately equal to 2 by pi into natural log of z. y n of z is approximately equal to minus 1 by pi into gamma of n into 2 by z raised to power n, where n is not equal to zeros. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Firstly, we stress the importance of Bessel differential equation and Bessel functions in physics and sketch the derivation of the equation from Laplace equation. Secondly, we obtain series solution of the Bessel equation which define Bessel functions of first kind. We derive the recurrence relation for the Bessel functions. Next, we specialize to Bessel functions of integer order, obtain the integral representation and then derive the generating function. We introduce and discuss in detail Bessel function of the second kind which together with Bessel function of the first kind provide a complete solution of the Bessel equation and also define the related Hankel functions. We explain in what sense the Bessel functions are orthogonal and prove the orthogonality and obtain expansion of a function in terms of Bessel functions. The asymptotic behavior of various Bessel functions is important in many applications. We simply describe the asymptotic behavior of these functions without derivation. Thank you students for your kind attention.